Born and raised in the Bay Area, two locals came together to create the film Americazzi, a film about hope and how Armenians have continually faced difficult situations in history but refused to give up. Here to tell us more is the producer, Patrick Malkasian. Patrick, thanks so much for joining us today. Good afternoon. Yeah, really excited to talk about Americazzi. And for some of our viewers who have maybe never heard of the film, because I know it's getting ready to be released, can you give us an overall synopsis of what they can expect? Sure, I think you'll see in today's world a story of hope mm -hmm. uh, in the midst of tragedy. A gentleman repatriates to the Soviet Union, 1948. Mm -hmm. This is an Armenian story, but this is also an American story. Yeah. In that whether you're English or you're Spanish or Greek, everyone thinks about wherever they've come from. And this gentleman, Charlie, explores and goes to Armenia, which happens to be at the time a Soviet Republic. Mm, amazing. All right, so let's get into the details of what really inspired this film. But before we before we head into that, let's first talk about you and Michael. Kind of exciting, the duo born and raised here in the Bay Area. Why did the two of you come together to create this film, Patrick? Well, Michael and I went to high school together at Bishop O'Dowd, Go Dragons, <laughs> yeah. uh, 30-something years ago. Uh -huh. And I had produced a, a couple of movies, and I came back to see Michael and uh, we met up at a cafe, Farley's Cafe in Oakland mm -hmm. and over an egg we discussed this script and the idea and Michael has an amazing background in film. He's an Emmy Award winning actor and I thought let's get together, make a great film and here we are. And here you are. So what truly inspired the two of you to create this film and write it the way that it was written? Because it's a story about hope, but like you said, it's also a story about tragedy, especially with Armenian history. Right, of course. Well, there have been so many films written about a, a, an extraordinarily important part of Armenian history, and that's the genocide in mm -hmm. World War I. Mm -hmm. We collaborated to come together and put together a a movie that was about a story of repatriation and we wanted to highlight the culture of Armenians. By doing so, uh, we brought together people from all over the world. It was really a global effort. I have a dear friend, Vartan Barsumian, from, uh, originally from Armenia, lives in LA today and Las Vegas. Um, Hovi Kucherian from Spain. Nishan, uh, Arman Nishanian, pardon me, from Armenia and Sol Tryon, our producer uh, from Ojai in Southern California. All of us came together to tell this story and bring together this, uh, this uh, topic of mm -hmm. Armenian repatriation. And what is the current history and climate of Armenia that still inspires the film to this day? Well, today's a very dark history for Armenians all around the world. Our film establishes a, uh, a backstory of the relationship between Armenians and Russians. And the history is a little complicated for most, but uh, we try to simplify it in, in such a way where everyone can relate. Uh, today, uh, unfortunately, ethnic cleansing is taking place today in Armenia. It's a very heavy and serious topic that I hope everyone is aware of. Mm -hmm. uh, and we hope that our film elevates the conversation and awareness so this doesn't happen again. And, and I love that. Let's, let's go off that point a little bit. So you're hoping that the film elevates that conversation and just gets people in the room talking about this so it doesn't continually happen. But what, what else do you hope that this film does to inspire those? Not just like you said here, but all over the world. Well, I think everyone said never again. And here we are in 2023 and it's happening yeah. as we speak. It needs to stop and I hope that our film through art elevates the conversation. And I, you know, I'd like to reach out to uh, President Biden, who's in the Bay Area today, and all others in Congress to see the reality of what's happening, to see how people are suffering today. And the Armenians there have been left in the hands of Russian peacekeepers. This is a terrible situation. But with the film, Charlie is left in Armenia during Soviet times. And at that moment, he's captured, he's taken into prison for some, some ridiculous 
uh, crimes, crimes of uh, practicing r religious propaganda, wearing a tie. And today, these, these occurrences that are happening seem to be impossible for us to understand, but they're continuing in 2023. Amazing. And it's actually been selected by Armenia as, you know, the official selection for the Oscars, the 96th annual Oscars, for their international, best international film feature. Yes. Tell me about that a little bit. Well, it's an absolute honor for us to be selected. Uh, we have, you know, a tremendous team. All of our actors, all of our staff from Armenia have uh, worked on this now for almost four years. We started wow. in the midst of the pandemic, mm -hmm. 2020. We had to stop filming. Hovig, one of our uh, stars, had to go back to Spain. Uh, some others had to go to Moscow. Mm -hmm. uh, today, you know, we're, we're here trying to, to really continue this. And uh, we hope that everyone goes to the theaters. We're in 50 theaters across the country. And it's a moment that uh, we want to take advantage of and cherish and elevate this conversation. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Patrick, for joining us here today and just telling us a little bit more about what people can expect from Americazzi. We're looking forward to it. Thank you. Of course.